Hey, it's Golden Buddha here, back with some more RPG horror stories for your listening entertainment. And today, we have a funny story about a rules lawyer trying to circumvent the rules of biology itself. Roll post. Skeletons can't starve? So, I don't know how appropriate this story is for this sub. It's more of a dumbass player story than it is a horror story. But it's my go-to for the dumbest thing any player has tried to make fly with shitty rules lawyering. But... A little backstory is required. I was starting up a Pathfinder game for four friends, the Bard, the Ninja, the Cleric, and the Rogue. During character creation, the Bard wanted to play a skeleton because he liked the idea of being an undead mariachi style character. Thankfully, Pathfinder is a bloated enough system to have a race creator that allowed us to make a skeleton person race for him to play with minor rule bending. Pretty much, he was a living creature that needed to eat and sleep as normal, looked like a human skeleton, had no racial bonuses to stats, but had skeletal damage reduction, which meant that he reduced all non-magical slashing and piercing damage by 5. He was happy with this bizarre mariachi bone man, and we continued as normal. When they were about level 8, several months later, they're investigating a haunted mansion, and the bard gets hit with a spell that makes it impossible for him to gain sustenance for a few days, making him starve for days. Now, this is far from lethal. It's 1d6 non-lethal damage a day that can't be healed without a remove curse first. They're thinking about how to help him out when Ninja says, We don't have to worry about that. He'll be fine. I ask, why is that? Do you have some sort of ninja thing that can help? Genuinely curious because Ninja and Pathfinder can be kind of bullshit at times. He says to me, No, he has damage reduction. That 1d6 will only matter if he rolls a 6 for it. At this point, I'm thinking he's having a misunderstanding about how Bard's race works. Oh well, he's still a living creature. He has to eat, so he take the damage as normal. At this point, Bard pipes up and says, That makes sense to me. Ninja says, I know, but is this bludgeoning starvation damage? I look at him like he's an idiot and say, No, because it... He interrupts me. Then this damage reduction will apply. This is nothing to worry about. I shake my head to get the dumb out and say, No, hard ruling. He's a living creature that has to eat, so this spell would affect him. That was a condition of making his race. You're not immune to starvation if you wear armor that gives you damage reduction and won't apply here. At that, he somehow goes even deeper on this horseshit. He looks away from me to Bard's player and whispers like he's trying to hide it from me. Okay, that sucks, but actually really good for us because that means non-lethal damage bypasses damage reduction now so that means we can deal with all kinds of monsters now i never stop paying attention to this crap and i say whoa whoa non-lethal damage does not bypass damage reduction bard is not immune to starvation stop being an ass ninja looks at me like i just took a hearty piss in his cheerios you're being inconsistent breaking rules for your stupid plot you're being a bad game master if you're going to ignore the rules for damage reduction, be consistent about it. You're big and... I cut him off. I'm done talking about this. I told you how this works. Nobody else has a problem with this. I'm not wasting any more time on this garbage. Ninja keeps glaring at me, leans back, folds his arms, and completely disengages from the rest of the session. Afterwards, Bard's player takes me aside and said that he's sorry that happened, and has no problem with the ruling, and never even thought his skeletal damage reduction would affect damage from starvation. Too long, didn't read. Player butted into a multi-day starvation effect on a different character, thinking that a racial ability that absolutely wouldn't matter, would matter. When I shut him down for it, he tried to somehow law ninja his way into being able to ignore a powerful defensive ability of almost all monsters. End post. Yeah, this is pretty ridiculous. This is a classic example of a rules lawyer trying to get his way through another player, no less. If I'm playing a game, and I'm a player, and dude makes a ruling then it's fine, you know, and it's not my guy. You're not supposed to tell other people how to play their characters. It's, this is ridiculous. This is the dumbest. S bludgeoning starvation damage? Bludgeon, I w honestly, this guy's a better man than me because I prop, we would have stopped the game. We would have stopped the game, my, my group, we would have stopped the game and we would have berated this man for at least an hour. It would have it would have been like we were back in middle school, okay? We would have roasted the fuck out of him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Period. <laughs> it would have been 
the nastiest shit, bro. We would have been, <laughs> we would have insulted all of his intelligence, all of it. We would have just given him all the insults. You guys are better than better than me, cause that's what would have happened. My whole group would have went in on his ass, me included. Um, yeah, this makes me mad just kind of reading it. I would say you need to have a talk with that guy, but I think he kind of just needs to go at this point. And then he got all pouty afterwards. Nah, fuck that guy. That's really all I have to say about this. But um, how do you all feel about this? Weigh in in the comments below. And don't forget to send me uh, RPG stories to read and stories you think are interesting. And don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. <laughs> this is Golden Buddha signing out.